HJK Infosys provides world class online IT training, staffing, and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. HJK Infosys supports 100% job oriented training, hands on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one time pay, lifetime access to live classes and videos. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For free demo class, visit h2kinfosys.com. Now, you have not put the terminator sign, that's why the syntax error is coming. Now, we see that there is an orange underline. Now, we have seen that the hash table, the common knowledge is that it puts data or represents uh, individual objects in key value pairs or you can put data in key values pairs now if you see the key format and the value format both are in string format so what we can do is you just hover our mouse over the hash table object or hash table keyword and choose the option of add type arguments to hash table this will basically put up the key value format so if you understand the key key format is in a string and the value format is also in string so that is why the string string format is coming to represent the format of the key and the value pair now please understand key and value as always in pair similarly out here also if we just hover our mouse you can add the arguments of string strings to represent the format of the key and the value out so this is basically putting the data inside the hash table similarly i can have one more hash table like this let's say I'm just going to copy this to just save time. Okay, the only thing that I'm going to do is that you cannot have duplicate reference variables of the hash table object. So I'll call this as h2. And in h2 reference variable, I'm going to put the first name as Sam and the last name as Mendes. Okay, now let's see, I want to get the value uh, out here uh, from the first hash table that is h1 how do i get it sysop so what we need to do is we have to use a method called get to get the values of the key now how do i get it so h1 is the reference variable of the first hash table dot get method now if you see the get method the argument of the get method has the object key that means we have to pass on the key out here and the key has to be passed on for the key that we have given out here so let's say i pass on the key called first name and in this particular class file so i get the value as kashik similarly if i pass on the key let's say h1.get last name I will get the value as Mukherjee. Okay. Well, let's say I want to get the values from the second hash table. This is the second hash table represented by H2. So what I need to do, I'll just have to copy this and paste it out here. The only thing that I need to do is I need to use H2.get because I want to get the values of the second hash table that is represented by H2. So h2.get the key within string format first name h2.get the key that is here last name this is going to give give me sam and this is going to give me mendes okay if i run this i'll get mendes i'm not getting sam there might be some reason for that yeah because the key that i have given is not the correct key we have to follow the uppercase and lowercase maintained in the key otherwise the value is going to be null in your console. So let us see if the file again run it. Now we are getting sad. Now like this, this hash table right now, the first hash table. So I will have some space within these two. I can keep on adding data to it. For example, I can keep on. So let's say this is the first name. So I can put h1 dot put. Okay. I can give the key as let's say h. And the value of the age, let's say in the string format only, let's say 41. Okay, so right now I have added one more data to this particular hash table. 
okay i can keep on adding data to it for example we'll keep on adding this dot put uh, let's see the city right now here as the key and the value of this key is bangalore which is in string format now if we now check up the length of this hash table so what we are going to use is this particular method which is called uh, the size method so if we write down h1 dot size this is going to give me the size of the hash table size of the first hash table so you can write down out here the size of the first hash table is concatenate this with h1 dot size this is going to give me the size of the first hash table, hash table right now now if i run this so i'm going to get the size as four now if i let's say comment this particular part and again run the class file and see the size the size will be three right now that means i can increase or reduce the size of the hash table which is not possible in arrays because in arrays once the element size is declared you cannot decrease the data based or increase the data you have to always follow the element size that you have defined in the array but in hash table which is part of your collection framework we have a dynamic data structure in which we can reduce or increase the number of data that a particular hash table can take similarly if i right now comment this particular part and run this class file again i'll get the value of the size as 2 Similarly, now as I have told you, let us go out here and here also I will give the age and the which is represented by age 2 age 2 and age 2. So I'll change this age to 30 and city let's say is Delhi for the second hash table. So I'm increasing the data which I'm putting inside the hash table and right now if I do a CISO and print out the same stuff represented by the H2 reference variable of the second hash table we'll also get the size as 4 for this particular second hash table as well as I'll get 4 for the first hash table 4 for the second hash table for the first hash table out here and so this is how we can increase or decrease the size so if i let's say comment this particular part this particular data right now the size of the second hash table will be three and the size of the first hash table will be four if i remember check it out second thing is that we can duplicate the data but we cannot duplicate the keys for example I duplicate the key okay data can be duplicated so it can be Bangalore Bangalore okay but the key cannot be duplicated there will be no syntax error if you are duplicating the key value the key the key out here so if we are duplicating the key the is not going sh to show any syntax error but when we run this particular class file to get the size of this hash table the size of the hash table will remain at 4 see that it remains at 4 this is the second hash table so I'm going to change this to second so if you see out here the size of the first hash table remains at 4 even if we have used one uh, even if we have put one more data inside it so values can be duplicated but the key cannot be duplicated as a compiler of Java the compiler is not going to show you in syntax error for duplication of key but yes in the console the result will show you that the size of the hash table remains at 4 but yes I can do like this this is possible I can put it at city 1 this becomes a different key the value can be same right now if I run this class file 
the size of the first hash table will be five right now just run this and check it out so it basically proves us a fact that we cannot have duplicate keys but we can have duplicate values for the key so this is the difference between arrays and your hash table in arrays you have to define the element size in hash table which is one of the classes present inside the collection api we don't have to define the element size since we don't have to define the element size we can increase or decrease the data inside the hash table that means it supports dynamic data structure <clears throat> in arrays we have to define what is the array type it has to be a string array or a double array or a long array or an integer type of array in hash table we don't have to define the type of data it is holding i can have a hash table which can hold heterogeneous data this is basically a hash table which holds your your homogeneous data now i can basically copy this and create a third hash table out here having homogeneous data so let's say i define it by h3 the only thing i will remove this I'll remove this particular part and I define the key in let's say first name as Kaushik last name and the age let's say as 41 out here remove the cities from here so what I can do is define it with h3 this with h3 this with h3 this with h3 in city I can put as it's a bangalore Create constant angular local variable no so you can have city out let me see that is I can put in 41 that shouldn't be a problem so the key has to be in your string format the value can be in your string or non-string format this is the integer format for example okay and I can put a, a zip code something like this so h3 dot put the key can be your pin code and the value of the pin code can be in integer format 560069 for example for terminator sign the only thing is that we will have a warning like this and this is a typical example of heterogeneous data okay the only thing is that warning will come just hover your mouse and choose the option of add type come arguments to hash table that's all the moment you do that the option go <coughs> add suppress warnings to it the warning when you put the warnings the orange underline under the comparable is gone and then you can print out the size of this so this will be h3 dot size the size will be right now one two three four five five is the size of this particular hash table and i can print out right now 
the let's say the pin code so if i run this the size is 5 and the pin code the name is Kaushik the pin code is not coming as null it is coming So this should be your h3 dot get name and this should be your h3 that is why the null was coming so i'll save the file and run it again so i'm getting the first hash table this is the third hash table rather is h3 dot size i'll save this again and run it third hash table is five you see i'm getting the value of the key called first name and the value of the key called pin code the pin code value is in integer format and this is the value of the first image in string format so that is why i said that hash table also supports heterogeneous data or in other words the collection framework supports heterogeneous as well as homogeneous data which array does not array only supports homogeneous data thanks very much appreciate it for the patience